North Korea firing an intercontinental ballistic missile that flew for more than 70 minutes. That is the longest missile flight ever for North Korea. Kim Jong-un, they say, personally guided the test firing of the missile. That is according to North Korean state media. The launch coming just days after Kim Jong-un's sister vowed retaliation over an alleged U.S. spy plane, which they say flew over North Korean territory. Will Ripley is out front. A menacing milestone for North Korea's missile program. Pyongyang's latest ICBM launch, breaking its own record for the longest ever missile flight. A staggering 74 minutes, hurtling high above the Earth at supersonic speed, hitting 6,000 kilometers before splashing down in the sea. The massive missile's potential striking range, the entire U.S. mainland and most of the world. Pyongyang's most provocative launch in months, coinciding with this NATO summit in Lithuania quickly condemned by Japan as an unacceptable threat to regional stability. South Korea's military ready to overwhelmingly respond. The ICBM, a crown jewel in leader Kim Jong-un's nuclear arsenal, protecting the power, fortune, and future of the ruling Kim family. His young daughter, Kim ju a often appearing alongside her dad. Barely 10 years old, the rising star of a state propaganda campaign carefully crafted by Kim's younger sister, the mastermind of the Kim family brand. The leader's loyal confidant, trusted advisor, and perhaps the most powerful woman in North Korea. She is the number two. Well, that is for sure. But actually, she is very smart lady, and she actually well, knows that her position is secure only when her brother is secure. Just five years ago, very few people knew of Kim Yo-jong. She stepped onto South Korean soil, the first member of North Korea's ruling family to cross the DMZ. She carried a message of peace from Pyongyang. North Korean athletes and cheer squads got a warm welcome at the 2018 Winter Olympics. She rose to fame as a fixture at her brother's side, standing silently behind Kim as he met with former President Trump. That brief period of diplomacy feels like a distant memory. The silent sister, now a loud voice of defiance, issuing fiery statements on state media, often laced with crude language. This week, she threatened to shoot down U.S. spy planes, accusing them without evidence of entering North Korean territory, warning in case of repeated illegal intrusions, the U.S. forces will experience a very critical flight. Past actions prove she's not all talk. In 2020, a dispute with South Korea ended with a bang. Kim ordered the demolition of a joint liaison office at the border, turning diplomatic dreams into a pile of rubble. She blew up that building because she was angry about activists sending balloons with leaflets that opposed the regime. That was her response. Let's blow up the building. And she is the second most powerful person in this nation that has a ever-growing nuclear arsenal. Um, and yet she's the one that says the U.S. is hostile and aggressive. She called South Korea's president a fool recently. And now that, you know, the Washington Declaration will strengthen the military alliance between the U.S. and South Korea, we can expect a lot more from her era. Oh, all right, thank you very much, Will Ripley.